everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am so excited to be part of a Hero Arts blog hop using some of their new holiday goodies. And this card that I made is graphic and cardstocky and simple and I love it. And I want to show you how to make it. So let's get started. I'm starting with the Hero Arts 12 Point Stars Infinity Nested Set. And I've got a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock. And this is pre-cut. I have, I pre-cut a bunch of cardstock to four and a quarter by five and a half. But I need to take a quarter inch off both sides so that the finished size will be four by five and a quarter. Because I am going to build this on a white card base. So I want to start out with this size, which is the largest in the set. And I'm going to go ahead and get that centered because I want to make sure that everything is contained. I don't want to cut through the top and bottom just from side to side. So I'm just going to stick some of that low tech post-it tape, run it through my big shot and then carefully peel off the tape. And now I'm going to keep the top and the bottom and I don't need that center anymore. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut out three more shapes. And I've just picked some bold, bright cardstock colors that I love. And I'm gonna glue them all together. Just line them up and glue them up. Now, this is the fun stuff. You need a boatload of, of foam adhesive. I didn't wanna show you that process because it was painful, okay? But I will show you my, my score buddy and I don't use the tool that comes with it because I am so in love with this Teflon bone folder. I know, why don't you marry it? Trust me, if it were legal in my state to marry this bone folder, actually it might be. Anyway, it's like butter. Now I'm gonna start adhering this top piece and the bottom piece. And the main thing that you wanna do in this process is just preserve that little margin. See, that's why I trimmed it to a smaller size so that I'd have this nice little white edge. And once you've got that down, then you're just gonna take your star and move it around until it fits eh, as perfectly as you can get it, like a little puzzle piece. I'm just gonna adhere it up here with my favorite dot roller adhesive, my Kokio, and I'm gonna get the little Goombas off the edge because you know how sometimes the adhesive, yeah, gathers up. And then just glue it down to the center and look at that graphic goodness. Ah, oh, love it. Now this poster carol set is so cool and I can see using this for so many more things this season. And I'm just gonna prep a piece of black licorice cardstock with that anti-static tool, cause I'm a pro now, people. And my verse mark, yeah, the sticky ink. And I'm gonna go ahead and just stamp that down. The stars are brightly shining. And I'm gonna cover it with my white embossing powder and I only use Hero Arts, I'm pretty new so I, found this stuff and really liked it. So let's just say I stocked up on it. And I'm gonna tap off the excess and I also end up brushing off some of that extra cause I don't need it. And now I'm just gonna heat set this sentiment and get this nice bold white. And there's a little area where it was mucked up but it doesn't really matter because I just want the sentiment. So I am going to trim off the top bar and the bottom bar. I'm pressing really hard with my metal ruler just take that X-Acto knife and snip it off, repeat, and what I'm left with is just my simple bold strip, and that's what I want for my card. And now I'm gonna add just a little bit of thin foam adhesive. I love this thin foam adhesive from Scrapbook Adhesives, I believe, um, because it's half the size, you know, it's half the depth, and sometimes you just need that little dimension, but not the full. So I'm gonna pop a piece on each side of the strip because that will sort of make up for the stacked cardstock so it kind of is even. And just take a tiny bit of Kokio in the center. Again, wipe off the, the Goombas. And then I'm just gonna line that at a diagonal. And it's not perfect over the pink, but I think it looks pretty good. Now I'm just gonna flip it and cut off the extra. And here's a little note to self. I only film videos on a black mat. I never work on a black mat. So I felt like I was, I was working in the blind people. I had no idea what I was cutting, but it turns out, oh, uh, I, I did pretty good. But look at that. It's so bold and fun and it's got dimension and color. And this people, 
This is so simple. If I can do it, anyone can. Thank you so much for watching today. Please subscribe to my channel and check out more videos in the center. To see more from me, visit my website today. Thanks everyone and have a great day.